Just now we already discussed zero error. Now uh, in this slide, I'm going to discuss into the detail of zero error. What you need to know about zero error in uh, SPM. Zero error arises when the measuring instrument does not start from exactly zero. Examples: If there's, let's say this is a scale of uh, this ammeters, okay, and if there is no current flow through the ammeters, uh, the pointers start from exactly zero. Right? It should be here, and uh, if this is the case, then there's no zero error, okay. But sometimes, uh, okay, you will find that the pointer does not start from uh, exactly zero. Okay, it's slightly higher than zero. Okay, or after zero. Um, for this case, uh, we say it has a positive zero error. If the pointer is slightly higher than zero, okay, then this is called a positive zero error. Uh, sometimes, the pointer may be slightly lower than zero, eh? okay, and uh, we call this a negative zero error. So from here, we can see that uh, zero error can be positive or negative. Eh? Okay. So when you make measurements, eh, if you realize zero error, you must know that whether it's a positive zero error or negative zero error. Uh, then only you can remove the error. If you don't know whether it's positive or negative, then uh, is then you can't remove the error. Okay, so let's see this example. Okay, so this is a stopwatch. Okay, and uh, the stopwatch shows some readings. And uh, if we press the reset buttons, uh, if we press the reset buttons, the pointers should go back to zero. Eh? The pointers should go back to zero, but. Um, if you press the reset button and this is what you get, that's fine. There's no zero error, okay? It's because the pointer point exactly at zero, so there's no zero error. But if you press the reset buttons and this is what you get, so the pointer does not go back to zero, but it's slightly higher than zero. Eh? Uh, so what do you all think? Is this positive zero error or negative zero error? The pointer points to a place slightly higher than zero. This is a positive zero error okay and um this is one second huh? okay one second so therefore this one is uh, 0 0.2 0 0.4 seconds so the pointer point at 0 0.4 seconds uh so therefore we say this is a positive zero error and the uh, zero error is positive 0 0.4 seconds huh? so when you state a zero error uh, you advise to state the positive and negative signs of the error whether it's a positive zero error or negative zero error okay uh let's see another example let's say this is what you get uh this is zero and the pointer points slightly uh before the zero mark here so therefore this is a negative zero error right and uh each scale shows 0 0.2 seconds huh? so therefore we say uh the zero error is negative 0 0.2 seconds so when you write zero error, make sure that you include the positive or negative signs of the zero error. Uh, so that is what you need to know about zero error.